A lot of people don't know what I'm about to show you out of Bunch Offset. This is in the Colts playbook, and the play is going to be Flood. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, the link is going to be in the description below to go join our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. That is where you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25. And let's go ahead and get into this. So super cool concept here. This is out of Flood. And what we're going to do is we are going to stem this route. Now, if you guys don't know, in this game, there exists a speed burst glitch where if you stem a route up or down one, st st one tick or stem, and then you smart route the route, they'll get a turbo boost. So uh, a couple things we can do with this. So first and foremost, I just want to show you. So I'm going to take the circle receiver here, and I'm going to stem him up one. As you see, it's going to change his route. Then what we're going to do is we're going to smart route him, and I want you to watch this fade is going to essentially get more outside. And then the beauty of Flood is that you have the capability to have these out routes that are really, really good against man, out routes, in routes. So how do I like to run this play to beat man coverage? Because man coverage is certainly the meta in this game. So what we want to do to beat man coverage is we're going to put our running back on an in route. We are going to put our tight end on a slant, and then we are going to stem this fade all the way to the sideline. So as you see here, it's going to cause this to be kind of a glitchy fade route. And what we're going to get here is he's going to oftentimes get off of the jam a lot quicker. And I'm going to talk about why that's helpful against cover zero. Against cover two, man, it's not going to be super helpful. But the other thing that does make this, I think, super helpful is against cover two, man, he's going to be able to uh, clear out a lot better than he would if you didn't do this. So you see he's going to run kind of outside. Now I want you to watch this in route you see this in route is just super money against man coverage and then also let's talk about let's say they don't run cover two man so let's say they run something more so like a cover one robber or cover one hole type of defense if they're pressing this this is potentially a touchdown okay and i'll explain why so you'll see he's going to get this kind of automatic outside release, and then you can just loft this ball if there's no safety help. That's where she Rice. Where she Rice is not the best player to run with this. You would want to have, like, Xavier Worthy or Marquise Brown or McCole Hardman there because speed is what matters. But as you see, if they do go cover zero or cover one, then we're going to be able to manipulate that coverage. Now, I'm going to shade over top, and we're going to go basically like a cover zero shell. So if it's a cover zero shell, you're going to see here, I don't know what's going on with my – uh, secondary here they're, they're doing some weird stuff but let me just uh can i just spy i can't spy him seriously okay awesome uh so we'll just put him in can i not put him in okay this is really weird we're gonna put this guy in a hook curl <laughs> i don't know why i can't put him in in what i want to put him in um the adjustments are kind of weird in this game but anyways so what you're gonna see in route the running back slant the tight end and then you're gonna stem this all the way up so that it's basically like a super deep fade OK, and what you're going to see here is he's going to get on top of the he's going to get on top of the corner basically instantly. OK, so because he's going to get on top of the corner basically instantly, what that's going to then allow for us is we're going to be able to have a window to essentially hit this. So, again, I'm shading over the top here, but basically this fade can be lobbed against this coverage. So you see here, see here, he's going to kind of get over the top. Now I'm just going to lob it up over the top and essentially I can swerve this up into the outside. Now, again. We have a lot of other stuff in this play that does a really good job of beating man coverage. But the main thing I want you to kind of see here is the potential that you have by stemming this up all the way. It really does make a big difference. And then you're going to have these other routes as well. So we'll throw this one more time. So you see he kind of gets on top. Let's see if we can get a better bend. Not really able to get the bend we wanted. You know what? Let me just let me just word of this deep in the video. Let me just put a guy that's faster there. And you'll see what I'm saying very, very quickly. So, and I'm actually going to come out in a cover zero play to kind of mimic that. So we're going to put Xavier Worthy there, and you're going to see just such a significant difference. So let's go to da, 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 Flood, and we're going to come out in a uh, – let's, let's just put a cover zero play in here. Something like – do I have a, any cover zero? Do they don't have cover zero in here? they got to have cover zero in here somewhere. Overstorm Brave – not Overstorm Brave. What's it called? Uh, zero Blitz. Okay. So we'll come out in Zero Blitz, and then we'll have uh, cover two man as well. Okay. So zero blitz, and you're going to see here that I'm going to press, but I'm going to shade over top, right? Now, for the protection, most blitzes in this game are not really that good, and most people don't want to be sending more than five. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to send pressure. You can block your running back to pick up the blitz, okay? The running back's not critical in the route combo. So if you need to pick up a pressure, block your running back, okay? And we'll block him here. But watch this fade. You're going to see now he's going to get on top of him. And you're going to see that this is going to absolutely destroy it when you have a fast receiver. 
When you have a fast receiver, he'll be able to get on top of that corner a lot better than if you don't. And then let's say that it's like off coverage, cover zero. We'll show that as well here. Go to it. So this is the off coverage version. So if they're not pressing you, and you're going to see that this is probably going to be the best chance. But look at this. See how he gets on top again? And I'm just basically free-forming up and over the top, like up and over the top of the defender. And uh, that's a really, really good little route, in my opinion, for beating man coverage in those situations. And, again, cover two man is the best way to counter this uh, because cover two man has a safety over the top. If you do have a safety over top, it's a lot harder to throw this ball. You'll see right here. You can sometimes like just freeform it super to the right, but see how that D-path, he just kind of gets in that pocket. It's just kind of hard to throw that. But what you're able to throw once you kind of force them into having to have a deep half over there is now we have basically the entire field open. We could even do things like put a backside skinny post, right? But essentially what I like to do, once we start to get them into this cover two man type of deal, this is where these, this out route becomes super lethal. You'll see here, out route, pass lead down outside, super good. And then, uh, really, the in route and the slant are also really, really good man beaters in this play. So, we'll show you this man beater. The tight end slant, super underrated. Actually got kind of low-key bagged right there, but look who's open, the in route. The in route is probably the most consistent man beating route in the game, in my opinion. It just beats it every single time. Uh, you need to be running in routes. You need to be running in routes, guys. And then, the tight end slant. The tight end slant actually is pretty good. It's pretty reliable. I'm surprised he got bagged there. Let's we'll see if he gets it here. This time he did, he's getting bumped off the line, which is kind of random, to be honest. Um, and actually, in game, you'll find that these bumping animations are not going to be as significant as you get them here. But let's see here. This time we get that. There we go. I just got to put the ball a little bit more to the left, and we're able to beat man coverage. I'll show that one more time, and then we'll kind of basically be done here. The running back in route is really just a decoy route. Something that if they if they you know if they're trying to just keeps them from being able to use her the guy that's guarding the running back and seal a player in coverage. The running back route really doesn't beat man well this year. This is one of the biggest issues with man coverage. Most most years running back routes fry. That time he actually did, but most of the time he's going to get bagged in man coverage, especially cover two man this year. Just kind of the way the game plays. So running back in route, and then again, we're going to just stem this guy all the way up. If we're worried there's a blitz, you can always block your running back. He's not super important to the route combo. But then here, let me get a big bend on the ball, and you see we're able to hit this against man. So this is how you can use flood to be able to basically just manipulate man coverage. I love to use this fade. I think this fade is super good, and it really can – against zone coverage, it actually opens up a ton of space for your out route and things of that nature. So – that is Flood and how I like to use it against man coverage. If you want to check out my full Colts offensive ebook, join the school community. The link to sign up for that is in the description below.